Today's video suggestion comes courtesy by Great Bear Productions, a member of my Discord channel. If you want to have your video suggestion featured, make sure to be a member of my Discord and check out my video suggestion feed. I've been wanting to do this list for some time, but felt it wouldn't be complete without a refresher trip to Busch Gardens Tampa, and of course a couple rides on Afterburn at Carowinds. Well, I was able to accomplish both. With that said, I've basically ridden every major inverted roller coaster in the United States. There are a couple notables missing from my inventory, like Silver Bullet at Knott's Berry Farm, Flight Deck at California's Great America, and Patriot from Worlds of Fun. When B&M introduced the inverted roller coaster in 1992, it became one of the most popular styles of coasters on the planet. Almost every major amusement park has to have some sort of inverted roller coaster, be it an SLC, B&M invert, or family suspended coaster by various manufacturers. A park's lineup just doesn't feel complete without one of these amongst their ranks. For those who are new to the coaster scene, an inverted roller coaster is a style where the train hangs below the track instead of riding on top. There is nothing between you and the ground, essentially, well, except your seat, that is. These models typically focus on strong positive Gs, inversions, and leg chopper moments. To be considered a contender for my list, the ride must be currently in operation, so no past attractions. Any suspended roller coaster will do, as long as there isn't a floor, and the track must be above the rider. Before I get to my list, let's take a look at a couple honorable mentions. Number 10, Freedom Flyer. Located at Fun Spot America, opened in 2013, built by Vacoma. This suspended roller coaster serves part roller coaster, part scenic skyway as you fly over the midways below. The ride provides some nice views, as well as some decent forces. The strongest G forces are experienced at the end of the ride during the helix leading into the station. The track is butter smooth, a huge upgrade from the previous Vacoma family suspended coasters. After riding in the front and back rows, I think the front was a little bit more exciting. Number 9, Dragonflyer. Located at Dollywood, opened in 2019 and built by Vacoma. I was relatively surprised to find that this roller coaster has a little punch to it. That turnaround after the first drop has some nice G forces, making me question if this roller coaster is actually a family attraction. The rest of the ride is a little bit more tame, but still enjoyable as you complete a couple helixes in near collision moments. Just like Freedom Flyer, this is a butter smooth ride. The front may produce the best view, but the forces are more intense in the back row. Alright, that's enough of the family suspended coasters. Let's move on to the bigger models that we're all here to talk about B&M. Number 8, Batman the Ride. Located at various parks, the original opened in 1992, built by Bollinger and Maviard. The one that started it all, Batman the Ride, though originally introduced in 1992 at Six Flags Great America, has been cloned multiple times and featured at many parks across the globe. As of this recording, I've been on the version at Six Flags Great Adventure, Goliath at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and finally Great White at SeaWorld San Antonio. The layout is compact, intense, and fast-paced. I think the back row is the best place to ride this coaster. It's where you'll get the nice whip during the first drop and other various elements of the ride. So of the three that I've been on, I think my personal favorite is Great White at SeaWorld San Antonio. I think the ride just incorporates the terrain a little bit more, and I just think it looks very pretty in its setting. Number 7, Talon. Located at Dorney Park, opened in 2001, built by B&M. It's been a little while since I've ridden this roller coaster, but I remember it quite well. The inversions are fun, snappy, and forceful. I really enjoy the zero-g roll and corkscrew near the end of the ride. B&M inverts are notable for being loud, but since this attraction is located very close to a residential neighborhood, B&M filled the track with sand, which makes this roller coaster really quiet. In fact, if you're not actively watching the roller coaster, it might fly by without you even noticing. 
The end of the ride stays low to the ground, performing some tight near vertical turns that really pack in the G's. The back may be the more intense row, but I prefer up front for the uninhibited view. Number 6, Rafter. Located at Cedar Point, opened in 1994, built by B&M. Some claim this to be the best inverted roller coaster in the world. Personally, I think it's overhyped, but I can still recognize the greatness that this ride is. I mean, it's being featured on my list. The first drop might be a dud, but the rest of the ride packs in some serious Gs. The Cobra Roll is an especially intense moment that's sure to tighten in my restraint one more click. We can't forget about that helix at the end of the ride. This is where you'll experience the strongest G-forces. Head for the back row if you want to experience the power of the Raptor. Number 5, Banshee. Located at Kings Island, opened in 2014, built by B&M. This is an inverted roller coaster that I really want to rank higher, but can't for one main reason, the rattle. It doesn't seem to bother everyone, but if you are seated near the back of the train, there are portions of the ride where it feels like you're riding down a gravel road. Even with this shortcoming, the layout is very strong. Every inversion is forceful, especially that giant pretzel knot element. The end of the ride dramatically changes gear as your final inversion, an inline twist, is taken at slower speeds, creating hang time instead of positives. Because the back rows are a little bit more rough, I recommend sitting up near the front of the train. Number 4, Alpengeist, located at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, opened in 1997, built by B&M. Currently, it's the tallest continuous circuit invert on the planet, and soon to be the tallest invert once Wicked Twister is removed. The ride uses the terrain to its full advantage, creating multiple near misses at high speeds. The Cobra Roll may have a couple janky transitions, but that doesn't take away from the rest of this exciting invert. The giant inversions at the beginning of the ride are forceful, then changing gears at the midpoint into more snappy elements with the Zero-G Roll and Corkscrew. The back row may be more intense, but I love riding in the front row, soaking in the views. Number 3, Great Bear, located at Hershey Park, opened in 1998, built by B&M. Until this year, I had Great Bear ranked as my favorite inverted roller coaster, as a lot of good things going for it. First is the layout. The riders start off with a helix before performing the first drop. The ride time is a little short, but it's packed full of great elements. The vertical loop and Immelman are forceful elements. The zero-g roll produces some nice laterals and weightlessness. The corkscrew is another snappy inversion that just whips you right through it. Continuing with my same song and dance, back row is more intense, but you need to check out the front row to enjoy all the views during this incredible roller coaster. Number 2, Afterburn. Located at Carowinds, opened in 1999, built by B&M. Honestly, I didn't think much of Afterburn before getting my first ride. I thought the layout looked fine, nothing exciting, just typical inverted maneuvers. Well, once I got my first ride, I realized that Afterburn had a lot more going for it. It's way more intense than I could imagine. Every inversion is forceful, especially that Batwing inversion. The one inversion that really took me by surprise was the corkscrew at the end. It's extremely snappy, almost giving me whiplash as it tosses you upside down. I love its setting, using the hillside to its advantage, also while hiding inside the trees. My favorite place to ride Afterburn is up front. I love watching the trees and ground flying by you as you soar through the sky at breakneck speeds. Number 1, Montu. Located at Busch Gardens, Tampa, opened in 1996, built by B&M. Apparently, the older the invert, the better the ride becomes. Until this year, my previous ride on this roller coaster was in 2005, so like 16 years ago. I was so excited to revisit Busch Gardens and check out this legendary roller coaster all over again. The setting is perfect. Instead of using a hilly terrain, Montu creates its own terrain by digging into the ground. The roller coaster flies into multiple trenches throughout its layout, creating some exciting near misses. For being 25 years old, I was pleasantly surprised to feel how smooth it still is. It's one of the smoothest inverts out there. Every inversion on this roller coaster is top notch, with my favorite moments being the zero G roll, bat wing, and final corkscrew. I just love these snappy corkscrews that you can only find on a B&M invert. 
I know many will claim that the back row is the best place to be, but I love riding this roller coaster up front. Having nothing in front of you as you dive in and out of the trenches is so amazing. A ride up front is a must, but as always, take a spin in the back row. Well, that wraps up my top 10 favorite inverted roller coasters. As a fan of this coaster model, a trip to Europe is becoming more of a necessity. I just can't wait to ride Nemesis or Black Mamba. So what are your favorite inverts? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoy this video, please click on the like button and subscribe. That way you continue to get more great content brought to you by X-Screen Thrills.